Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome, to, welcome back to another Match Day vlog. As always, you know, you guys have asked me during this international break to maybe not do previews, but maybe to bring you a Match Day vlog from whereabouts I am. So today, we are in the studio. Well, that's what I like to call it. But like I say, we're watching England versus Croatia. This is the Match Day vlog. You're going to see my reaction to any goals that I scored, and any controversial moments, etc. In the last game, we came off the back of a final win to the USA. And Croatia comes this one off the back of a 3-2 win against Spain. Whoever wins today goes through. England have to win this game. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be hard. I've heard that Croatia are out Ivan Rakitic. But like I say, the team is still very, 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 very strong. Modric is in there as well. Mandzukic, Perisic. They've got a pretty good team. Can England do it? Let's hope so. Come on, my boys. Let's find out what happens. So the national anthem has just happened. I'm a little bit behind today, actually. I only have the team... Up and ready, but you know, it's a two o'clock kickoff, and I've been out this morning and whatnot. So let's go for the team now for England, and then obviously, then I'll go for Croatia's in goal. Jordan Pickford, as always, the back four is Walker, Gomez, Stones, and Chilwell. It's actually a 4 3 3, and then it's Barkley, Dyer, Delph, and then Sterling, Kane, and Rashford. So pretty strong for England. The strong enough team to maybe, to maybe give these good game of Croatia. I shall not get the Croatian team, but looking at England's team there. Now, I think it's strong. I think they've got the front three. Sterling, Rashford and Kane. Bit of pace there. Bit of flair on the wings. Delft, Dyer, Barkley. Yeah, not bad as well. I would have probably changed that, to be honest with you. I don't know how that's going to work out. But listen, if it's been a positive win, then that's great. So, in goal for Croatia is Kalinic. Is that his name? Kalinic? And then, well, it's almost like Kalinic, but it's called Kalinic, I believe. They've got some weird name players. I do apologise if I've got any of these names absolutely wrong. I really do apologise. We got another one called Vassal Joko, I believe his name is. They got Lovren, Vida, and Jedvaj, Modric, Brozovic, Valesic, Kramic, Rebic, and Perisic. They're all ending IC if you look at their team. But yeah, like I say their team is fairly strong as well. But let's see how England get on. But like I say, let's see what happens. Hopefully, England can obviously get the job done here and then obviously advance. If we lose, we get relegated and we don't want that to happen. So let's like see. Come on, boys. Let's see what happens. So, 11 minutes in right now. Raheem Sterling with a brilliant chance sent down the right-hand side of... Go on. Ah, oh, no. Let's say Raheem Sterling there on the right-hand side. Got a, shot it was, got a shot off. It was saved. The corner's just coming in. I don't want you back now. It gets flicked on from... I think it's John Stones and Harry Kane just can't connect with it to make it 1-0 to England. They had a chance early on. Croatia, whether the ball went back from Fabian Delft to Jordan Pickford. He couldn't pick it up as it was a bad pass. They put it up top the bar. England have looked good since then. We're starting to settle into this game very, very well. Getting on the ball, using it well. Showing that chance again there, Raheem Sterling. Brilliant chance. So unlucky. But like I say, 11 minutes in, you would say England aren't doing too badly. And kind of feel a goal coming sometime soon. It was another great chance for England once again there. Raheem Sterling, the man inside the action again. Fabian Delft plays a fantastic ball over the top. And it, it just falls a bit too in front of him. The goalkeeper comes in. Clatters right him Sterling. Falls out again. He gets it. The Croatian that clears off the line of his head. And gets it back again. The keeper makes a save. But coming close, man. The goal is coming very, very soon. I can just tell. So we're about 30 minutes in right now. And since them two chances, not a lot's been happening, if I'm honest. England, yeah, we are still getting on the ball. But not creating as much as what we have been. Um, they've also had a substitution, the right back, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name again because half the names are dead confusing. But they put it down to fatigue. Apparently Croatian medical staff aren't happy that they're actually playing today. They're saying that is there enough sort of time between the games to try and get themselves and their players' fitness levels back. So it is what it is, you know, if you're paying pending to play today, you've got to play today. But I say, we're approaching the 32nd minute mark now and still no nil, but you would say England, they probably look the better team at this stage. And so the half time whistle has just blew at Wembley and it's England nil, Croatia nil. England, yeah, first half, we did have a few chances. It should be one or two in the lot, maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, at half time, there was a lot of talking points uh, in terms of chances for England. Towards the end of the half, literally in the last second. Modric played a ball into the England box and I think it was, I think it was Perisic had run onto it. If he would have flicked it on, it would have been 1-0 Croatia. The chances that they're creating, they look like every single time they go in our box that they could possibly get a goal. England are working it well, working the ball very, very well. And as I say, you know, we've had chances, we haven't taken them yet. The biggest one for me was probably Raheem Sterling, where he went down the right-hand side of the box, had the shot and went straight the goalkeeper out for a corner. 
second half, I think, you know, something has to change. I think England has got to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more positive. Um, I'm not saying a positive right now, but I mean positive in the way of attacking a bit more and just moving the ball a little bit quicker. And hopefully then England try and break down Croatia and hopefully, hopefully England take that league. So I do honestly think that whoever takes the lead in this game, we're going to win the game. It's going to be close, it's going to be tight second half, it won't be the easiest, but I do believe England have got it. So I did not give a score prediction before this game, so I'll give one right now, whilst it's half time, and I will say it's going to be 2-1 to England. Let's see what happens, come on my boys. There it is. There it is. Croatia won England nil. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The attack down the right hand side. Ben Chilwell jumps for the guy who's even kicked it. And then he puts a through ball beyond beyond um, stones. And sorry, the chance coming in now. I'm basically watching the rest of the game. Obviously, I'm, obviously as I'm vlogging this. But anyway, you know, the Croatian player has it. He puts it across John Stones' body. He trots about. It goes back to that bloody striker, Kremic, what the hell he's called. And he gets it, he twists and turns everything else, does a bloody medal go around celebration, then puts it straight in the top bin. Deflection off Eric Dyer. Absolute joke. They have to score today. We now have to score two. We've played nearly an hour of football. We've come close, but let's be real. We can't sugarcoat things. We haven't even scored a goal yet, so it's not looking good at this point. It's two goals we've got to score in half an hour, and we failed to score any in an hour, so... It is what it is, but, you know, I'm not happy, man. You know what I mean? We knew coming into this one, Croatia were going to be tough. We knew that, you know, if you give Croatia that, just, you know, if you give Croatia just a little bit of time in the ball, or inside your final third, they're going to punish you, and that's exactly what they've done, so... I say 1-0 to them... Not good enough, man. Need to improve. And there we go. 1-1. One, one. Goals just gone in there. Jesse, Jesse Lingard taps it in on the line. The throw came in from Gomez. It went across. It was not done again by, I think it was pretty much John Stone that did it. And then falls to Harry Kane. Harry Kane gets it off the chest. Not to pass the goalkeeper. It was already going in. But there's Jay Lings, Jesse Lingard to tap it in. Jesse Lingard, I told you before in the last vlog, I love Jesse Lingard, he's such a baller, he's such a good player, and he proved it again. 1-1, one, one, one more goal, and England are advancing. Come on, the boys, you've got to start believing in it. Just like that, we've scored a second in the game. The ball comes in with a free kick, and he's missed everyone, but then Harry Kane sticks out his right foot, and he just gets a touch onto it, it hits the post, but it goes in the back of the net, and England looking from 1-0 down, to bring it back to 2-1, I'm extremely gassed right now. I'm absolutely buzzing. Most of the point of the fact is, if Harry Kane gets another two on target, I win myself 20 quid. But listen, that's class. That's absolute class. What a fight from England there. That little change that made the difference, in my opinion, then. It brought on Jesse Lingard. It brought on Jadon Sancho. And you're seeing the difference there. Jesse Lingard a second ago. He actually cleared it off. He actually cleared one off the line. Um, from obviously this like some sort of Croatian attack, but I don't care about the Croatian attack. They didn't go in. Owls went in. England two, Croatia one. We have four minutes left to play. Come on, the boys! And that is it. The full time whistle has blown, and England are going to the semi finals in Portugal next summer. I might have to try and get myself out there. What a game! Listen, when they scored, yeah, I was fuming because I thought England in the first half were dominant. Second half, we came out and yeah, we got on the ball a little bit, but before they scored, we weren't really doing a lot. They scored, and I think you know what? If we lose this game, it won't be no good. But in game tactics, Gareth Southgate brings on the changes. Sancho comes on, Lingard comes on, and Lingard comes on and literally scores straight away from obviously Harry Kane's shot. That obviously, was going in anyway, but tapped it on the line. Credit to him for, for obviously for following it up, and then we see then free kick come in. And literally, Harry Kane put everything and more. Out to try and tap the ball home, he puts it home, puts it in the bottom corner, and we are going to the semi finals in Portugal next summer. I'm absolutely buzzing. Get in England, boys, 2 1. And I got the score right because if you go back to the half time clip, I swear to you, I said 2 1, and like I say, it's on there. So, buzzing, man, absolutely over the moon. We're going to the semi finals. We are England. Oh, yeah. And we won the league as well. Whee! And that is where I'm going to end the match today vlog. I've got to go to Wembley and see England play. Of course, I've been to Wembley before. I went there for Eminem's uh, concert a few years back. I also went there in the playoff final of Middlesbrough. You see, I was obviously wearing a shirt. 
but I've got to go and experience an England game there. Like I say, you know, I've never been to Wembley for an England game. I live hours away from it, but of course, when well, should I say when, well, should I say whenever you're at work at R five on a Monday morning, it's a bit hard to get there and get home and whatnot. So, yeah, at some point we're gonna have to go. But listen, if I can get out to Portugal next summer and watch them, listen, that'd be incredible. So like I say, potentially match day vlogs from Portugal next year. That's the hope. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. England won the group, came from behind 2-1, we've got revenge on Croatia for obviously that for obviously that World Cup semi-final and more importantly we relegated them and that's what you get for beating us in the World Cup semi-final. I'm out of here, thank you for watching as always, like, comment, share and subscribe and up the England!